All right, back at it again. A lot to do, a lot to do. Inbox first, a difficult race. I mean, I think it was about right, I think. Um, it was difficult. You know, we had a lot of potential, just not, just not there yet. Let me see. Our objectives were disappointed. Great. I mean, this is this season. We gotta get, we got we got one in. Getting the one, the one podium out of the way in uh, new chassis is done. All right, all right, all right. No, our car midfield right now. Midfield, we're about to make some moves though. I think that's one of the reasons that we're having a lot of issues. And so we're gonna do some of these baby designs. We're gonna be designing lickety split. Nothing else going on until then. We will check on dev points for everyone right after this. Reach Q2, you got it. One of the top 10, Reach Q3, I'm gonna guarantee it. We can't guarantee fastest lap, we never, we never know. Two into the top 12 is a lot to ask of Mick, I think, specifically. No dev points for them. No dev points for them. Lick, nice and quick. Race weekend, Australia. Let's get this going. We have a few sets of softs to play with. Absolutely wonderful. Manage Q1. Let's get into it. Albert Park, Australia. Time to make some magic happen. Green light, green light. We're going to mix it up and send Pierre with the first group this time. Oh, just, just enough. All right, Pierre, let's get it. We have some huge ground to make up here. Currently P17, we know, we know that we're faster than that. Every, both go green, their first sector. Mick currently sitting in P10. Probably also could do to go up a few positions here. Is everyone gonna start coming across the line here? Mick still in the danger zone. He does go green, green though. We are expecting to see a fair amount of improvement here as Mick will come down the final straight and cross the line. Who does improve as well as Gasly who goes P7, P7 and P11 for pass through to Q2 pretty safely if I do say so myself. Looks like Alonzo's just not gonna come out. So it looks like Alonzo's Tay is done. Mick is safe from one, it would seem. We'll hop on board here with the German Schumacher. Let's heal around the last couple of corners here. Pierre looks to have some pretty decent pace around here. A crash right at the start of our lap. What a horrific turn of events. Who was it? Not Magnuson, it's not Vettel, it's not Norris, it's not Joe. It's Botas. Botas in the wall. Mick is now officially out of Q2 in P15 for this man's. This is the reason why Mick is out. I'm re I'm gonna leave Mick on push. But there's no point in Pierre finishing this lap. We're gonna try and save these tires if we can for our fresh run next. I think I'm hoping the yellow flag ruins enough people's laps to where no one can improve. We're gonna leave Mick on push because I mean he has everything to, to, to gain here. But unfortunately that's gonna be that. Energy's good. Copy. That's just that's terrible luck. Good session. I mean in theory no one should improve. Who was, you know, down the order there? That's uh, terrible. Man, that's terrible. Pierre is through. Mick. It's caught up the most thanks to Botas. Who makes it through, by the way. It doesn't even have to complete that lap. 
can't catch a break Mick Schumacher cannot catch a break in this series I swear it terrible luck for Mick there terrible luck that's gonna look awful but it's just that's not the reality hopefully no one uh Botas decides to uh absolutely ruin everyone's day here regardless we'll hop on board here actually anyone on a a lot all used all used tires pierre this is an uh, incredible opportunity for us let's show them what we got get a tow from kmag here and let's go bag ourselves a solid quality position here we're right on board here with the offset tv pod and see how pierre takes us around his last quality lap here in Q3, everything to play for here on this one. A newest set of tires out here. He goes green, first sector, things you love to see. As everyone's gonna start crossing the line here. Vettel does not improve. Goes green, second sector. Perez does not improve. Everyone else here does not look like oh, there's a whole lot of improvement happening. Get Pierre all to play for. Where are we going to start? Oh, eight thousandths. Why is the thousandths of a second being our biggest hurdle to jump here? It was in Jetta. We were two thousandths off of jumping two positions in qualifying. And now here in Australia, we are eight thousandths from jumping a ferrari at the start i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put pierre on this two stop which will probably match pretty much what everyone else is doing we're just gonna hope to get dragged along and what we're gonna do here we're gonna play the safety car game with mick and see if we can get lucky late and see if we can make something happen here we're gonna do our best it's gonna be another tough one for mick starting near the back but you know Unfortunately, it is what it is, and we're gonna have to try and make things happen in the race. Try and uh, it's a make up a lot of ground here for Mick, who got kind of shafted in uh, in qualifying there. There we have Pierre Gasly. They might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast. It could change. The only one way to find out here: the Australian Grand Prix is here. Let's lights out. get and this away we bread. Go. We're going to follow along with Pierre here. As we're making our way down into turn one. Try and take the Ferrari on the inside. What's the tire situation look like? A lot of mediums and only mediums in the top 10 here. We're trying to, uh, trying to do the best we can early. Try and set ourselves up for later. Gasly, a banger of a start here up into p5 seeing if we can make something happen here i think we're pretty okay we're gonna we're gonna settle in we're gonna settle into this one wait until drs is activated i forgot to take mick off of this Mick up two spots into p13 things you love to see we're gonna go ahead and drop him down as well let him get settled into his race with tire situation around him all hards around mick that looks like a a beauty of a spot for him he'll be riding around the uh the ones the reverse one stop that we were kind of eyeing up so not too shabby to say the least we're gonna see if we can get uh russell out of uh out of drs range here that would be absolutely huge for us in our race thank you for the posture check i always need it russell officially out of drs to us he said hopefully yes no drs for the mercedes man hopefully we can keep it that way and we can drop down save some tires and continue on it is hovering really ensure that we get drs here yep perfect 
Oh, come on, man. We're really lacking that much pace. All right, we really need Norris not to get DRS as well. If Norris gets DRS, then it's kind of over. All right, he did not. That's good for us. I mean, Norris is going to have crash, crash, hooms. Multiple cars crash. DRS disabled. That's a safety car. It's too early. It's too early. What is the tire situation looking like from the top? All right. So this is gonna. Well, we can. Uh, we can play it at one time speed. Was that a crash? All right. We have. Cars, I think. Who was Let's it? Let's take a closer look. Now we see the Williams here. Uh oh, very inconsequential to our race, but things you hate to see. Oh, big punts. Oh, big there. punts. Big and shunt. A lot, of a lot of damage. Do we? Hmm. Do we have to think about potentially boxing? Do we potentially shake things up? I think it's really going to come down to whether or not the AI are going for the medium to hard one stop or the two stop that we're on. Our tires are the most roasted because we were kind of fighting to, uh, to stay with this front group. This actually really hurts us the most because we were pushing our tires so much more than everyone else. I think this only helps Mick. This only helps mix one stop. This hurts Pierre's two stop, unfortunately. I think mm, it's tough. This is a tough one. I don't think we can box Pierre because if anything, we're going to go to a slower tire. We would box for hards and then just make it a one stop from here. In which we would just be on the slower tire from there. And I don't think that's what we want to do. So I think we're just going to we're going to keep going. We're going to use this opportunity to gain back some of our tire uh, aggression. And uh, it's going to be what it's going to be. So un unfortunate that it happened that early. That's one of those where you kind of want it to happen in like 10 laps. If it happened, well, I mean, 10 laps, you're looking at pitting regardless. But it's the one you're looking at happening in like eight laps. If it happened like eight laps, that's abs and that's an absolute beauty. Okay, energy's good. Yeah. Safety car probably in this lap. Yep. Safety car will be in this lap. Yep. All right, we will wait until the safety car gets up and going. We're gonna wait as long as we can here. Here we go. We are racing. We're going to go aggressive for both to make sure we don't get... Hold on. We're not going to deploy or anything. We're going to save ERS. I, mean, I have a bad habit of overusing ERS at restarts. And it usually comes back to bite me later in the race. So we're going to we're gonna leave things alone. Wait till DRS gets re-enabled. Maybe we'll go from there. But let's go racing once again. Make battling Akon who gets ahead unfortunate maybe we should have maybe we should get mm. Alpine just advanced. come on Mick we can't afford to lose this many positions here Mick Let's see if we can stick a nose in there Woo! Shush. oh my goodness he came flying through there flying through there All right, we're gonna keep pushing fuel here. We have Seb behind us. It doesn't honestly scare me that much. We're also gonna lower tires and keep an eye on the pace and see what things look like from here. I think we'll be able to, uh, actually, if we can, if we can break if we can break DRS the battle behind that, it will be absolutely massive for us.
DRS enabled. Maybe we'll be able to just pick off a, a spot here. Ooh, Kevin's trying. He's flying. Once we get that first DRS zone, then I think we'll be okay. Oh, yeah. Immediately put in... Immediately put a second on him. Well, half a second on him. Perfect. This is where we'll gain the most, I think. Although all the battling ahead is going to really uh, hurt us the most. No one's going to be uh, making any major moves. As long as we can keep Vettel and Magnuson and Ricardo and Joe and Sainz and Mick <laughs> behind us, I think we'll be all right. Honestly, Mick, we're gonna we're gonna deploy you a little bit. We're gonna push you through corners. If we can hold on to the medium runners as long as possible, that would be absolutely perfect. You really want to be holding on as long as possible. Holding on to the medium runners is only gonna help Mick in the long run. So the longer we can do this, the better. I don't even think we're necessarily even trying to, you know, get by any of them. We're the, we're the front runners of the hard runners, which is exactly where we want to be. Trying to keep an eye on up here as well. And our car's straight line speed is just not it. It's just not it. We just lost a tenth and a half in a straight with DRS. Unlucky, really unlucky. Okay, yeah. I mean, Pierre's in his pit window. That's perfectly fine. Honestly, again, totally fine. If we can hold on to the mediums, that's going to help us. We can get Lando later. We're not necessarily super worried about that. God, Pierre. We are just... We're slow. We're just slow, man. We're slow. We got to hold on. We got to hang on. The longer we can hang on, it's only gonna like it's only gonna get better. Ooh, thought about it. Here is the master, you know, really debating on sending one down the inside right here. We got Russell thinking about us, which is beautiful as they go too wide twice. They go two by two <laughs> through the uh, through that corner. That's always fun. It's gonna be a drag race between Leclerc and Perez. We're continuing to just kind of get dragged along, thankfully. I have to think we'll find out a lot on whether or not this is the one stop or the two stop pretty quickly. I think it's pretty safe to push this up to what is the gap looking like here not the best well, the safety car restart man again we're kind of screwed by a tight restart where no one's really there's not really been a huge gap generated here Ignore that for now. Uh, so we're running out of time. None of them pitted, which tells me they might be on the one stop, unless they pit this lap. If they pit this lap, then they are pro then they're probably on the two stop. Otherwise, they're on the one stop. The problem is, as of right now, we'll get we'll come out well behind pretty much everyone. I think we're gonna go one more lap and then we're gonna pit. We're gonna commit to this two stop because even if they are on the one stop, they're gonna be extremely slow. Everyone's on likely on the one stop. Wow. 
we're gonna go full quality lap here try and get by but we're pitting this lap we're gonna try a bit of uh, an undercut on this this one stop that they're doing we're not gonna we're not gonna deploy but we are gonna we're gonna do this it is hanging on we are kind of just chilling signs signs and ricardo did pit i think i missed that so it looks like they're also on the two stop we'll get an idea of what that looks like here Mick making some moves though i realized that i left him on deploy that's why Pass with an overtake there. all right we're gonna make sure to keep an eye on this so then do this and balance we'll hop back over with Mick while well, Pierre pits and not a lot of people on the two stop we are going to need to make this work unlike we did last time because the last time we did this we do come out ahead of Perez behind Sonoda all right we're going to we need to get by Sonoda Im immediately oh Pierre come on oh Pierre we're not getting stuck behind Sonoda like this right like we're not we're not right Pierre we're not is that a new race position for Haas break the DRS Pierre break the DRS Pierre And they're not gonna break the DRS. I will leave it on push though. Mick still just getting dragged along, absolutely as expected. We're gonna try and do something similar with Mick as we did with him last race, where we're gonna try and use some of this excess tire delta just getting pulled along here by these medium runners to extend the hard uh, stint a little longer than originally planned in order to have fresher mediums than hopefully everyone else down the end of the race because if they all box at the expected time they're going to run basically run out of tire on the last like two laps so if we can go just a lap longer minimum then i think we'll be uh we'll be in for some from some decent results some decent pace down the stretch is leading all of the hard runners this is absolutely a beauty of a race from mick so far the lando definitely has more pace than us you know getting drs from everyone ahead is a beauty of a thing and them fighting on them fighting is not helping us as much but it is what it is at this point sir Pierre. yes sir we're flying back up into p13 an excellent move by Haas to gain a few places and immediately no drs to those behind absolutely perfection from the french man well toss is going to have fresher tires but he is not going to be pushing like we're pushing hopefully at least so if we can work our way up into into his DRS, we will be absolutely chilling. Bunch of pit stops being made. We need to get out ahead of Verstappen here if we can. We do not. That is the fastest lap, though. That's a banger of a lap. Pierre, a banger of a lap. Pick up into P4, getting dragged along by his old teammate, Kevin magnuson 
Mick is in a net P1 right now because they have yet to stop. Get DRS, Mick. Get DRS. Get DRS. I don't think he got. He did. 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 Let's go. Perfect. Mick Schumacher leading the Australian Grand Prix. Pass with an overtake. An absolute masterclass from Mick here. So now Pierre finds himself battling a Ferrari of Charles Leclerc here. If we can, you know, push them into wasting a little bit of their tires, we pushed him out of the DRS to Russell, which is an absolute beauty as we currently stand to gain tremendously from this. Woo! Flying, flying. Oh, we did get DRS, but Charles slams the door closed. This is turning out pretty solid. Although Lando is cutting into mix lead slightly. Probably that's a tire diff at this point. And plus Lando, I think is just a little bit better in terms of his ratings than, uh, than everyone else. <sighs> Fix my headset. Go on, Pierre. Go on, the lad. It's DRS. Has that inside line. Opens up the flap. We're gone. We're flying. Straight into DRS of Russell George. DRS lap opens once again. Now fighting ahead. Absolute beauty. Perfection. Leclerc not pushing like... He's going to try and catch up. We can try and break that one second barrier. I think that's absolutely massive, obviously. I don't think he got DRS. He did not. Although his car is still a Ferrari and it is still kind of a rocket ship in a straight line. It looks like he'll likely get DRS onto the main straights, likely. Yeah, he'll get DRS here, but we are going to be flying by George Russell. Absolute masterclass happening currently. DRS open up once again, catching the next group ahead. Absolutely beauty. All right, Norris has caught up to Mick. That honestly is pretty okay. We we know our race that we're in with Mick right now, and so we are just absolutely chilling with Mick right now. So. He has no ERS, but I think that's kind of to be expected to a certain degree here. They take a very inside line. It looks like Alonso is going to try and send one around the outside, but just can't get it done. We'll get Botas on this one. I think Pierre could have snuck his nose, stuck his nose in there a little bit, but decides against. Send one down the outside. Oh, Pierre wants it. Pierre's hungry. He can smell it. He can smell P6. I mean, realistically, we do need to be making up these these positions because we are stopping again. You know, we will be able to do this later, but you know, as many as we can get now and get into a bit of fresh air, clean air would be lovely. Make back into the lead down the main straight. Things you love to see. Verstappen also there in the fight. We'll see if Mick can actually slow them up a little bit. I actually might. We'll see what that does. We'll see what happens We've if we can slow up line. Verstappen back up into this group that's an absolute dream scenario here as Pierre moves up here into p6 now chasing Esteban Akon for p5 Akon does not get DRS here we're gonna be right up on him Pierre probably could have sent that one up down the inside but unfortunately does not get the move done we have slowed up uh the front group a lot actually we are losing a lot of time behind Akon, but an absolute beauty happening right now from pierre gasly verstappen does get behind we will take mick off of hold up cars as we now need to uh focus up on pierre here oh if we get drs here it's a wrap 
no DRS. Dang it. I don't know where the detection is. The detection point is on that one, but Pierre is a very good position right now. Should have DRS here. He does. Will tell Mick, don't fight. Do not fight Pierre here. You are in two very different races, and Pierre is here to stay north. We'll be boxing in a lap or so. If we can get by uh, Lando here, that's an absolute dream scenario. Ooh, shut the door. Stick your nose in there, Pierre. Ooh. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, Norris boxes gives us DRS absolute dream scenario and we are away up into the DRS of Valtteri Bottas absolutely mint this is going mwah, chef's kiss of a type of race that we're in right now look at all this dead percentage that they're gonna have right now look at it we're gonna have medium tires that are gonna be flying, absolutely flying through here. Oh, how do we not get, how do we not get DRS there, by the way? An absolute travesty. We're gonna ignore Mick and go at minimum one more lap. We're gonna try and go one more lap with Mick. And, uh,. See, we're gonna actually have him harvest too. We're gonna sacrifice a little bit for Mick just to build up his ERS a little bit. Baltas leaves us in the dust with the DRS there. Unfortunate, really. And unless something happens, there I mean, he has much fresher tires than us as of right now, 77 to 58. But all, every tire percentage that goes down for them from here on is going to be another percentage that we're going to have above them at the end of the race. All right, Mick. Race position gained for Mercedes. Mick opens up that DRS. We are going to be boxing for mediums, Mick. Boxing this lap for mediums. No longer harvesting, Mick. Free to push. Actually, push fuel. You have half a kilogram to go. Pierre is losing time ahead as well as behind. We're going to try and see. I doubt it's going to work, but... All right, Charles Leclerc is going to be having DRS on us on this straight as well as on the main straight. So a bit unfortunate, really. We're going to be bumping that back down. We're going to try and <coughs> use this strategically to use the Ferrari to drag us along here as we march towards our second pit stop. Make in the pits. Likely going to be coming out fairly behind but hopefully we're gonna be able to make up a few positions here three seconds dude our, our pit crew is trash our pit crew is actually horrific mick does come out behind everyone but is on the freshest medium tires out of everyone else so unfortunately the undercut or the overcut did not work out for us here unfortunate And Ferrari just gained a place. I try and use this opportunity to save some ERS if we can. Russell George is behind us. A second and a half. Those five tenths are going to be proved to be useful. If we can get a whole lap of harvesting here, that's an absolute dream. Getting dragged along by by Charles here. Continue just to drag us forward away from the Mercedes of George Russell. The absolute dream. What's the uh, 25 second loss in the pit lane? That's not good. We need to, uh, we need to increase this gap. need to increase the gap Pierre increase the gap if possible increase the gap 
Carl is so worried about defending from me. All right, we are in. We are in our pit window, Pierre. We need to dis up here. Pass with an overtake there. A little bit of free air should be good to go. I mean, we're going to have the freshest tires out of like everybody on the entire circuit. We're going to have the freshest tires. All right. Honestly, that's fine. Again, we're just if we can just get dragged along as long as possible. I don't know how George Russell was able to catch up to us when we're flying with Charles with DRS, but hey, that's neither here nor there. All right, another lap of DRS flying by the Ferrari. Sheesh. Track limits, Pierre. <laughs> All right, we did lose three, now three and a third seconds ahead but all in all it's not bad a new race position for Haas. we're gonna see if we could get past by charles here all right we can't All right, Pierre, box this lap, box this lap. All right, we have that. We're gonna leave him on push. Back over to Mick. Here, you better have the pace. Cause you got a long pit lane ahead. 3.1 sec. Dude, our pits, our pit stops are trash. I know you're gonna want to do not Pierre is our opportunity use him to drag yourself along and away from the clutches of the Red Bull trust in the Haas master plan absolute worst case scenario absolute worst case. go go absolute worst case scenario absolutely the worst case scenario oh my god oh and that destroyed his tires it's over i right, make you are literally our only hope for points right now I'm legitimately upset. I am legitimately upset. Good thing this is gonna be my last one for tonight, or else I, mm, I might do something. I might do something crazy. We were, we were had it. We had it. The pace. The moves. We were there. I am so upset. Pass with an overtake. We had such good. We had really good pace too. We had pace. We had promise. We potentially had points. But no. Now his Pass tires are. 
His tires are just as destroyed as the other two stoppers. And we're two seconds behind. Uh, and one of the cars we're going to have to try and catch is a Ferrari. It's not how that works, man. Uh, now this is the kind of stuff we got rid of Kevin for. Literally in the last season, Kevin bins it twice in the last two races when we're in great positions. And then Pierre comes out and does this. I don't even want to look at him. Just go. Just go. Oh, he got the fastest lap. Cool. You're in a good place. Uh, position for Haas. I'm wondering what would have changed if we had pitted him under the safety car at the start and converted him to the, the hards to medium one stop. You just got to wonder, you know? I'm literally like I'm just lost for words I'm actually just lost for words I don't know what to say like what's happening with the Haas F1 team a podium to start the season and then just mistakes with a great overtake. just mistakes the whole way the rest of the way what we got make up into P11 love to see it Mick fighting for potential point right now. I don't know. Wait, I don't know what happened. I mean, it, I guess Perez is in a he's in a Red Bull. It's not exactly the most surprising thing in the world. We're on for and points. Uh, man. Oh, and we don't get DRS. Beautiful. Beautiful. My phone died. My phone just died. Alpine just advanced. What a day. And my phone dies. Beautiful. What an absolute dream. Oh, hello, Carlos. It's a spin. Leclerc spinning. Apparently didn't lose that much time. Okay, here's the Ferrari. Oh, it's just a baby spin. That looked like a very nasty it was spin. a baby spin and that gap behind him allowed him to uh, get back out there like that. I just, I just don't know what to say, you know? Pass with an overtake. Schumacher overtakes Archon. Doing's in the pits. He on to sauce going for a fastest slap attempt at a Williams Lamo. McLaren gain a position. Honestly, at this point, here, save your tires, build up some ERS. We'll try and improve that fastest lap, and uh, we'll go on from there. Mick's not even going to get points just because we don't have the pace and we're fighting Akon. Oh, what a brutal day. 
Brutal. And after that first round, man, I thought we were a shoe in for this podium uh, challenge. But man, is it now looking good. Well, we, we caught up to and train. Perez is all the way back up in fifth, by the way. We've caught up to a train. Oh, these hard runners might, these tires start gonna start to get destroyed though. This is gonna be the whole thing. We're gonna have fresher tires than everybody else. We may be able to make something happen. And McLaren with a great overtake. Oh, he's off! Norris is gone! Let's go! Is Mick gonna save our bacon again? Norris in the dust. It's in the dirt. He's gonna get held up by Daniel, but we might still be able to squeak in a uh, fastest lap here. Last lap. What's the tires looking like? 31, they're gonna fall off. Mick might be in a great position here. All right, Mick, we need to get a fantastic exit here. Last lap. You got it, Mick. You got it. Let's watch it from Cinematic. Here we go. The last lap. Gotta sneak his nose in there. Let's go. Let's go. Yep, Joe's tires are gone. He's gone. He's no longer a factor. Your tires are going to be just as destroyed as everyone else's. But you know what? We're on the mediums. They're on the hards. He did. He tried. Great recovery drive from Mick right there. Great recovery drive from Mick right there. Okay, back. I think sniped. Uh, or uh, Seth tried to snipe. Uh, K Mag. Oh. Man, we are scrapping for points. Just absolutely scrapping points. Jeez, man. I don't know what we need, need to fix, but well, we need to fix something. We need to fix something. Yeah, I don't really know what's happening. What do you know what you know, it was your fault? Literally, you spun. Literally, it was literally it was your fault. Literally. He's living the dream. Exceptional work. Literally, literally your fault. Pierre has fallen from grace. Fallen from grace. We do hold on to P5 and the uh, the constructors. Thankfully, McLaren did not score. So we should be able to continue to fight there. But man, oh, it gets a death point. Pierre does not. Teo does not. Oh, 250K. The Mick finishing in the top 10, but man, that's 3.6 in the bank, but still, man, we gotta, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but we gotta figure it out.